Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome to 365.training presents 10 minute video tips where we provide tips, tricks and video based instruction on the Power Platform and Dynamics 365 features and functionality in 10 minutes or less. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the new updated, what they're calling next gen schedule board for Dynamics 365 field service. Now, one of the major reasons that they made changes to this is the previous version of the schedule board was just at times slow. It took a long time to load. And if you had multiple tabs uh, for different schedule board tabs, performance really suffered. So this is using new updated technology. So it's going to be much quicker to load and just the overall experience will be much more responsive than what we had in the past. The other reason that they made this change was to bring in some different color schemes. And so as you're looking at this from a dispatcher, you'll be able to really see some of the different colors and options and really make it easier to distinguish between the different steps and statuses of these individual work orders. And then the major reason is to really act as the foundation for the new scheduling capabilities that will be coming as part of Dynamics 365 field service. And this really starts with things like multi-day scheduling and intelligent interaction. So this is gonna be the core schedule board foundation for years to come as the application moves forward. So what does this look like? So let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like inside the application. So right now you'll see that I've got pretty much the old schedule board being displayed. If you want to use the new version of the schedule board, it is kind of an opt-in scenario. So there are some things that are still kind of under development with it. So things that you can't necessarily do with the new one that you could do with the old one. Like I can view schedule board tabs, but I can't necessarily create them in the new version of the schedule board yet. So what you're going to do to enable the new schedule board functionality is you'll just basically turn it on and it'll switch over to kind of that, that new functionality. What you'll see when you come in here is a much cleaner experience in regards to the information that's being displayed. It still has a lot of the same layout functionality. So over here, we'll still see that we have our requirements panel. I still have the ability to navigate through that requirements panel and see the information accordingly. I also have the ability to do my filter functionality. So if I wanted to come over here and do kind of that same filtering based capabilities that we had done in the past, I can utilize all of that functionality in here. I can filter based upon territory. So as I type in the item that I want to work through, I can filter it over. You'll see it filters very easily. I also have the ability to easily access other schedule board tabs. So as I come into here, I can hit Washington Territory tab and it automatically takes me to that schedule board tab. And you'll notice that the loading time was exponentially faster than some of the things that we had seen in previous versions of the application. Over here, I have the ability to actually start to see more uh, details around my statuses. So you'll see I have a wider variety of status information that I can utilize. Each one of these represent different color coding schemes, which reflects based upon what I'm seeing on the schedule board. As I hover over, I still have same functionality to be able to really kind of get detailed information as it pertains to that individual item. As I go in, I will now have the ability to still drag and drop so I can still kind of drag and move functionality around. I can right click, I can get into kind of my reassigning and reassign these items to other areas. This is going to give me that baseline functionality to be able to really start to work with additional scheduling functionality as we move forward. When you start combining these things with new schedule features that will be coming shortly, you will really have a much more dynamic experience for scheduling items inside the application.